Hello and welcome to my first actual get ready with me vlog. I am not the type of person to get ready for things. I just throw on an outfit and leave. But this vlog, I am going out to dinner with my friend for her birthday. She always looks amazing. Her makeup, her hair, her jewelry, her outfit, her aura, everything about her is so fabulous and put together. So tonight, since I'm taking her out to dinner for her birthday, I figured I might as well put some effort in. So I'm going to try to do my hair. I'm going to kind of do my makeup. I don't actually own makeup, but I do own mascara and some powder for covering red spots. So I'm going to do my version of doing makeup. I'm going to pick out my jewelry and I will show you guys the outfit that I will be wearing tonight. She always dresses nice. So it's like, I got to keep up. So as we go through this routine, I will spill secrets in the most G-rated way, kind of censored way, just because I'm still a private person and I can't just share everything online. But if you know nothing about me, it'll be really fun. Yikes. I'm not sure how appealing that is. I figured outfit is last. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna normal routine that I do cleanse, tone, and moisturize. Quick and easy. So, I don't know if you can tell from there, but I have a little bit of acne scarring right now. So, I have this powder from Neutrogena, but it didn't come with a powdering instrument it just came with the powder so what I do is use my fingers and just put it where I need it which I've been told doesn't look good but it's gonna be dark so I'm gonna just gel up my eyebrows really quick with the milk gel thing actually speaking of eyebrows we gotta pluck them I guess just to clean it up I'm gonna use this facial razor I feel transformed. Okay, so now that I have put up my eyebrows, I'm gonna take my powder and basically what I do is I literally put my finger and then I just powder it where the redness is. And again, I um, have been told that it looks bad because you can tell only parts of my face are powdered. But like, I'm just in the dark eating dinner. No one's like getting all up in my face. So I think it should be fine. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can. And then I'm gonna take my Laneige lip thing and moisturize the lips. I'm also gonna put some hair oil in before I curl it just so it smells good and it's healthy. I don't know. I guess like some basic information about me would be cute. So I am from Mililani and I'm currently living in town in an apartment by myself. And I have a boyfriend I've been dating for over three years now. I guess a question that I get a lot is why I don't post my boyfriend. And the reason that I don't post Jacob is because we kind of agreed that it's nice to keep our relationship private. I would love to talk for ages and ages and ages about about Jacob but I don't know what else there is to know other than that there's not much else to know about me and Jacob but if you have questions let me know I'll talk about it in a future video because it's always fun to bond you know all right I finished oiling up my hair so I'm going to heat it I actually don't know if that's safe at all so we're gonna do it anyway though <laughs> Okay, here is the hair curling instrument in question. It is not really a curler, it's like a crimper. I am using this Bio Oil skincare. It's like lotion, but not, it's oil, <laughs> for my legs to make them healthy and nice and shiny. Before real estate, I was working at Bloomingdale's in Ala Moana. I got to work with my best friend Lauren. Actually, that's where I met Yuri, the girl that I am celebrating tonight. I met her because we both worked at Bloomingdale's, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> She's also an amazing esthetician and beautician, is that a word? I don't know. All that good stuff. And then I got my license 
and 2021. So much happens in such a short portion of time. I got my license in June of 2021 and it is now October of 2022. The amount of things that have happened in between then are kind of ridiculous. So very grateful to say the least. I guess this is kind of the most gossipy part of the video is real estate has shown me that it's just a really good pathway for achieving my dreams. I got into real estate thinking that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and I still really really am happy that I've done it but in all of these like guided visualizations and dream boards and where do you see yourself in 10 20 years and all this kind of stuff I realized what makes me excited and what makes me super passionate is the idea of owning a bookstore cafe so that is actually what I am working towards and real estate is a part of that path towards that so for all those people that are wondering how I'm doing in real estate I'm doing great <laughs> I am so so thankful for all of the people that have trusted me to sell or buy property with them and it's been a huge huge blessing I'm gonna put you there while I try to do my hair people that are interested in getting into real estate just DM me and I'll help you out there but something that like I guess not a lot of people talk about is real estate is really hard obviously I knew you have to work like you can't just expect anything to get handed to you. Oh god, I'm definitely doing this wrong. It's not even doing anything. Let's try again. Okay, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, real estate is really hard. The hardest part is just finding the people that want to work with you. And then everything else after that is kind of just self-explanatory for the most part. Oh, this really is not working. Do I have to hold it longer? It's kind of working. Oh, I just have to hold it longer. How boring. All of the friends that I've made are probably the greatest benefit to being a realtor where I am because without all of those agents that I met, I wouldn't be able to like turn to someone and say like, what do I do in this situation? It, it's painful to be in an industry that's so competitive and it, it actually takes a toll on your confidence and the way that you feel about yourself because you're like, why don't people want to work with me? Why do other people get clients when they they don't do as much work or they do more work but what are they doing right I can't figure it out like the hardest part really is just like this puzzle piece and it takes a toll on your mind so it's all about mentality and staying strong which I personally had a really hard time of doing after my first six months in real estate I had closed transactions but I was freaking out because I had nothing next and truly the thing that helped me get through that was my boyfriend so having a good support system is everything I would say I don't I don't know if I'm digging this. Are you? <laughs> Looks crazy. That's my take on real estate. Again, if you start anything that, you know, takes a lot, which most things do, I would say stick it out, have a good support system, even if that has to be you, and don't give up. I did just put my hair up after crimping, curling it. Oh geez. Well, it's already done, so. So my plan is if this honestly looks horrid, which I'm thinking it does look horrid, then I'm just gonna put it in a bun and then pin these back. This is the final hair look. Nothing happened to my hair because I'm too impatient. Next up is getting in my dress. What time is it? Okay, so here's the problem now, right? I leave in an hour. <laughs> I didn't know how long it takes to do stuff and I guess it's fair because I didn't actually do anything to my hair and that was supposed to take the longest, but I don't think I even like the crimps look, to be honest. And I don't have a straightener, so that's fun. Do we like the bangs curled or no? Because somebody, I won't say who, somebody does not like the bangs curled and was like, oh God, don't do that again. And then I did it again. It took me less than 30 minutes to get ready, including washing my face, putting on, oh, I didn't do mascara. I knew I was missing something. <laughs> if only I was good at this stuff. This is the mascara I'm using. I'm pretty sure I got it from Long's. All right, here's the before and after. Before, after, woo. Mascara is crazy. I wish my eyes were just always mascara This is the face look. Oh, I have blush. I have way more makeup than I thought I did. I have this St. Lux Liquid Glow. 
I don't know if you can tell that I did anything, but I swear I did. I honestly, th I like kind of hyped up the video by saying that I would talk about something or give gossip or give information, but I have nothing to say. I don't really know. I'm just gonna wear these hoops. I have no idea where I got them from. Oh, I look super muscly. Anyway. Okay, I have my rings. Okay, I'm wearing my New York bracelet and this regular chain bracelet. It's 6.40 and <laughs> I just steamed my dress. So I guess I'll put it on and then get my bag ready. Here is what the top looks like. It's really, really soft and it's also really, really tight. So it's gonna restrict my eating amount tonight, which I'm okay with because that just means more leftovers. <laughs> I will show you what this looks like in the other mirror as well. This is what the dress looks like. It's a tad bit short, so I have shorts underneath. And I'm gonna be sitting down the whole time anyway, not like walking around town, so I'm not too concerned about it. I have to figure out what shoes I'm wearing. Oh gosh, I honestly was gonna wear sneakers, but my friend is gonna be wearing her Louboutins that she got from her boyfriend, so um, I don't really think I should be wearing sneakers when she's wearing her new Louboutins. I could wear, ugh, I actually hate this. These black boots, let's try that out. I always think that I have, ow, I always think I have so many shoes. And then at the same time, I can never find anything that I wanna wear. So I'm gonna try one foot my boot and then the other foot this shoe and just see which one I like better. These are the two options. One is a bit leggy. You know what I mean? Let me see. I have to see if it matches. I don't think that this matches anyway. I actually really like this. It's kind of country, even though the boot isn't at all country. Let's try both of the boots and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna wear these boots. This is the purse that I'm bringing because it is white and it fits my vlog camera and all of my other necessities. It doesn't match great. I kind of just want to dress it down a little bit because I'm wearing heels, boots, and this like really nice dress. And it makes me uncomfortable. This is the final outfit with the purse and the dress and the jacket. I kind of don't like it. I think I'm gonna bring a sweater. <laughs> what in the world? I'm not even lying to you when I say that I'm going to be bringing my zip up. This looks actually horrendous, but I just feel comfortable in it. And I'm not gonna wear it during the dinner just while I run the errand beforehand. So this is the final look. This dress is the final look and I will see you guys at the dinner to celebrate Yuri. too much at the dinner because we were taking so many pictures and so I was a little bit embarrassed to be taking so many pictures and then also taking out the camera and vlogging in such a, a nice establishment so I didn't get a lot of good clips if any but the dinner was really good um, Bernini Honolulu if you guys are interested in a good pasta recommendation although my favorite
favorite part of the dinner was the truffle pizza. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I don't have makeup remover, so excited to see what I do. <laughs> I'll make this whole thing quick because I'm so, so tired. Normally, this is about the time that I would be heading into a deep slumber. What I do to take my mascara off is grab some cotton pads and Vaseline. Then I just dunk the cotton pad in the Vaseline and then do that. And so this is how I take my mascara off. I had a really great night. Yuri just makes me laugh so much and we are in a very nice place. That's it. I just wash my face and then I'm set. This is a lovely way to end the vlog. Um, I didn't take my makeup off all that great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired. So I'm not worrying about it right now, but thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm going straight to bed. So good night and see you next time.